The back lot is really a cool place to eat in Petoskey just simply because if you've got a big group of people, there's just a great assortment of these food trucks there with just a variety of different foods, so there's really something for everyone. After we ate, we had just a great assortment of different kinds of food, and all of the food was great. Everybody just tried a little bite of everybody else's food, and then we found Par Memorial Baptist Church, which was established in 1910. So we couldn't help but get a Par Family, Par District photo out in front of the church. Afterwards, we discussed that we're going to be heading to Mackinac Island, and four of us are going to fly, and the rest are going to drive and take the ferry across. Then we'll sit. Harbor Springs Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, three, niner. Zulu weather. Wind zero, six, zero at one, four, gust one, eight. Visibility one, zero, three thousand, three hundred. Scattered temperature one, seven Celsius. Dew point niner. Altimeter three, zero, one, four. He's cruising. That's what I thought. <laughs> Taxiway lights on for us this morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> Harbor Street traffic cleaner, flight of Southern Eagle. Party runway 104 to be south of South Harbor Spring. He's, a, he's always in a hurry. Huh? Yeah, he looks like it, don't he? <laughs> That's why, I, you know, I wouldn't go jump in front of him. Yeah, he, he was cruising in and got out quick. Fuel on both trims and trims, cow flaps open, rich prop in, 10 degrees of flaps, landing lights on. You want to take off? Oh, so, I'll let you take it. I'll see how it goes. Harbor Springs traffic skyline 80, pop echoes, taking off at 10. Approaching runway 10, Harbor Springs. Entered runway 10, 4,100 feet remaining. All right, airspeed five, instruments are green. And rotate. And crab. And crab like crazy. Up. That gusty crosswind coming out, and all those trees are blocking it too. Yep. That's a long beach. Yeah, it's great. We went there all the time. Street traffic, go for a helicopter. Uh, who's this guy? Is that a helicopter? You know, we're going to be north of you now. I think it's a helicopter. It's some kind of bumpy today. 
they'd be smooth out over the lake. There he is, helicopter. Coast Guard helicopter right below us. Oh yeah. What do you oh yeah. It is a little bit bumpy out here. I was not even over the water. Usually it smooths out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. On fly it's summer what? Oh, I mean this is the easy part, right? Yeah. Well, I mean it's, it's up to you. Your airplane. All right, I got it. So it's up to you where we go, Jared. That's right. Well, I figured we're just probably follow the coast. It's kind of what I was gonna do. Yeah. Take the long way around. I guess your sight pictures are a little different in the 92. Yeah, because the dash is a lot higher. Right. So, so right now you're pretty much level. Right. So, you know, usually I tell people it's about three or four fingers above the dash. Yeah. Barrett's got a better sight picture than either one of us, Ron. Yeah, I know what he said. Is that a, is that a lighthouse out there? Oh, looks like it. Man, it would be in the middle of nowhere, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess there's some shoals out there, so yeah, needed to mark them. That is at Skilligy Island, the lighthouse. There you go. Gosh, the beaches right here are gorgeous. There's not as many rocks on them. I'm telling you, the Sturgeon Bay beaches. One of the best I've ever been to in the Warfel. Oh, that's right, because that point is Surgeon Bay, isn't it? Um, wave right there. That's like inland there. Oh, okay. Sand dunes. The point is Wilderness State Park. Okay. Was surprised how gusty it got immediately on takeoff. Oh, yeah, I mean, as soon as we lifted up, we were kind of way back the other way. That's why I let you take it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is, I mean, it rocks way out here, barely under the surface. Yeah. So what's this point that comes out? Wilderness State Park. Cool. That's what you were talking about last night, where? Yeah, I've actually never been out very far on that. It'd be fun to go with a paddleboard. Yeah. Oh, I bet it would. Although the wind just gets so insane and shifts so much that that could be brutal. Exactly, you get out and you can't get back. Here, you want to take one just of that kind of... I'm so not a photographer. Now, halfway down and it will focus oh, and then just push it all the way. And don't worry, I mean, it's going to be kind of far back, I'll zoom. Oh, once you get up here, it doesn't fly a whole lot different than a 170. Oh, I mean, once you're driven out and everything, I mean, an airplane's an airplane. I mean, I've flown a Kodiak that's no different than this. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. It's just your takeoff and landing is just going to be a bunch of different, yeah. yeah. The runway right there, that's kind of what it looks like. I think it's on the northwest end of, or no, it's on the south. There's not a bridge to Mackinac Island, is there? Nope. Oh, wow. Oh, are y'all looking further out then? Yeah, just just past the bridge. That's the island. Oh, okay. Another little lighthouse over here. I see that. I don't know if I can get that or not. I'll, I'll take it. Getting in your space. Yeah, that's fine. The side cameras get that stuff, but I like, sometimes I like something a little clearer. Airfield and sight. There's it. I'm gonna give you flaps 10, so she's gonna balloon like crazy. Got it? Got it? Yeah. Trim you if you want, unless you want to trim it. Oh, is this here? here. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's all muscle memory, right? <laughs> you got us lined up. That is about zero two. Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, zero, yeah. Are we landing on this island? No. Right there in front okay. of us. No, this I is see. the Upper Peninsula. I know, but I was looking, I was like, this isn't, but oh, now I see. Ahead. I couldn't see. I'm not used to being. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to give you flaps 20. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take her now. All right, you got it. My airplane. Perfect straight in, all set up for you. I know it, man. You just made my job super easy. Hey, my babe. 
Maximal traffic, Sky Lane 80, pop it, go, final, 08, Maximal. Final approach, speed around 80. Beautiful, there's a uh, charge down in there in the air. 70 on true, Roger, because we're a little far out right now. Uh, but uh, I usually I usually 90 downwind, 80, 80 70, on 70, and then about 60 over the numbers, give or take. Have a left crosswind here. Yep. And we reached for the cow flaps instead of the. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> right side. <laughs> Get it. Mackinac Island Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, zero, five, Zulu. Weather. Wind, zero, two, zero, at eight, gust, two, five, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, one, niner, Celsius, two point, one, niner, altimeter, three, zero, one, seven, Mackinac Island going to payment procedure. The island has a large population, 14 horses. Make all maneuvers over the water. Avoid flight over shore and town. No touch and go. Traffic pattern out the continue 1,900 feet before turn. Left hand traffic. Coyote decoys in use on the airfield. Unicom on 122.7. Pilot control lighting on 122.8. It'll make for a sporty little crosswind land. Yeah, it's going to be a little sporty with the gust. When it's steady, it's fine, but right. the gust is what gets you. The land and that can out traffic. Stanley needs to pop echo short final 08. Back. Is that one of the ferries right down here? The crosswind, we might be around one zero. Oh, it's here. not what it is. I should look at the houses over here. Fighting it, huh? Yeah, fighting it all the way. Oh, I say that was a good landing for a uh, oh, point to consider. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and you'd have been here in ten minutes if it had not been for just kind of meandering. <laughs> yeah. Glad we took the scenic tour then. I'll try landing that one. No, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been in crap like that before, but I'm, I'm a lot more polished when I'm going. Mark <laughs> does that fairly often. What's I mean, that? a pretty good strong wind, gusty kind yeah. of. Yeah. Seems like it happens way too often. I think no, that would have no, been no, extra strong knowing I could go from zero to zero eight. Either. It'll allow you to do touch and goes here. Right? Extra anxious. Oh, you can, uh, you can do a go around. You can do a go around. Yeah, go around is not a touch and go. Even if you touched and something got squirrely. Yeah, that's a that's an emergency procedure for uh, safety. Oh, there's the coyote. I was looking for it. Watching it come in, I was like, man, it's like we're low, but the numbers are where they need to be in the just in the screen. Yeah. He's got five bladed problems. Yeah. Yeah. You can clear. Clear. It's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work. Yeah. Good girl, Nate. Don't hurt me. Here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Jared, Jill, Janice and I did some exploring, went on some hikes and kind of checked the island out as the rest of the crew was driving up from Petoskey and had to go over the Mackinac Bridge to get on the ferry to make it into the port and then when they texted and said they were about 20 minutes out, we kind of made our way back to the docks and met up with them. Okay. 